So as city leaders consider those tens of millions of dollars in funding, food pantries are stepping in to feed asylum seekers. And now those pantries are stretched thin by rising demand for help. As CBS 2's Marissa Perlman reports, for the first time, one is putting a cap on clients. Outside El Mercadito in Humboldt Park, on any given Tuesday morning, you'll find a long line down North Avenue waiting for this food pantry to open. There's so many countries in crisis and people are trying to help. Jen Allman says many of these families are new arrivals from Central and South America who show up in hopes of snagging a box or a bag of fresh food. Though here, resources are running thin. Toughest thing to keep on the shelves have been eggs. Um, we all know prices have gone up. Omar Roman is on the front lines. His job here is trying to keep these shelves full. We've seen an influx going up and it's bigger and bigger families. The city has seen more than 8,000 migrants arrive here in Chicago over the past year. The pantry has seen a surge in new clients from 11,000 to 22,000 over the past fiscal year. They say the surge in migrants isn't the only reason for their strain on resources. The federal cut of SNAP emergency benefits has really affected us. Inflation and food prices is it's a huge cost to our operation. Six, three more. And for the first time, the pantry has had to put a limit on the number of clients they serve at this location. Now, no more than 150 every day. From here. So when we reach the cap at each day, it's it's difficult. Um, it's very emotionally difficult to tell someone we can't help you right now in the way we want to. Food pantries really are, are um, making making resources out of bubble gum and toothpicks. And at the Pilsen Food Pantry, Dr. Evelyn Figueroa says they too are feeling the strain, serving more than 200 migrant households every month since September when families first started arriving here in Chicago. She says families shouldn't be dependent on food pantries. Food insecurity is a problem with a solution, and I really really hope that we use the crises of right now to make innovative solutions to solving this. Reporting in Humboldt Park, I'm Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. The city has so far spent about $20 million a month to care for migrants. Both food pantries are looking for volunteers and for monetary and food donations. If you'd like to help, we have a link for more information on our website, cbschicago.com.